Hi again. Now I'm going to teach you how to draw a portrait. So um, facial proportions. Here is Santa because we are going to draw Santa in a project later this week. So you want to start off with a blank page. I'm going to start drawing an upside down egg shape or an oval shape. Okay, um, our faces are symmetrical, so you don't have to do this, but you can lightly sketch a line down the middle. We are gonna be erasing all of these guidelines. So make sure you're holding your pencil a little bit farther back and you are sketching lightly. Okay, about halfway down the face is our eye line. So I'm going to Sketch that. I'm going to label it a little bit farther out here because I am going to need to sketch right here. So about halfway down our face are our eyes. Okay, so then when you divide this bottom part into half again, we're doing math. The next fraction is a fourth, and then that is going to be our nose should not look like an H. It should look like an N. So our nose. Okay. And then dividing this part in half again, that would make it one eighth. And that's going to be the mouth. Okay. So our eyes are football, lemon, almond shaped. I have a lot of lines here that I'm just going to erase, okay. So, um, kind of about in the middle here, we want to make the top part of the eye above the line and then the bottom part of the eye below the line. Same thing on this side. Okay. I'm just looking at what I have here. Okay, I'm going to erase my guidelines inside of the eye here because we are going to draw the eyeballs, okay? So now we are going to draw the iris. This is the colored part of the eye. And even though it is a circle, a lot of the top part and the bottom part of the iris are covered by our eyelids, okay? So for example, if I draw that eye again, I do not want to see a full circle like that. Okay, that is not right. Okay, so make sure that it is partially covered. We shouldn't see the whole circle here. All right, and then everybody is a pupil. Okay, and we do see most of the pupil Everybody's pupil is black. Okay, it does look a little bit creepy right now, so I'm gonna just add a little bit of shading here. So I'm using the side of my pencil to do a little bit of shading. Okay, if you want to take your eraser and erase a corner of the eye, a little circle of the eye. That is kind of the shiny part of our eye. Everybody has a shiny part, so you can do that if you'd like. Everybody has eyelashes, boys and girls. Everybody, they have a function or a job. And the function or the job of the eyelashes is to keep out dust and dirt from our eyes. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the eyebrows. So our eyebrows, and you're welcome to put down your pencil and feel your eyebrows. It's lots and lots and lots of hairs. Okay, so lots of hairs. Um, I do not want to see an eyebrow like this. It is not just a line. <laughs> In real life, our eyebrows are lots of hairs. So go ahead and add those eyebrows. And it follows the shape of your eye, the top part of your eye. Okay. Nose is the next part, and this is where it's a little bit tricky. If you want to try this, put your pencil down, put your fingers right here, 
and feel straight down. That is where our nostrils are the edge of our nose start. So I usually start with like a parentheses. Okay, I don't want that line there. Okay, and then I also want to erase these guidelines here in the middle because we're going to be adding some shadows and I don't want to see those right now. So um, from here we are going to make the nostril part. So our nose is so tricky to draw and to color because it is mainly a bump that sticks up. Okay, I kind of make a another kind of half circle like that on the top of the nose because it is, um, Santa kind of has a butt, little bit of a button nose. Just adjusting these eyes just a little bit. Okay, so again, I'm gonna use the side of my pencil. I probably need to sharpen this soon, but to start shading in and coloring in some of these shadows here to really start to bring out the nose shape. Okay. Okay, if you want, you can blend a lot of people use their fingers. I mean, it's fine in a pinch. It's best to honestly use a um, tissue or even a little piece of paper towel would work. Okay, so now we have the nose. What's great about Santa too is that actually he has a mustache and a beard that cover up a lot of the lower part of his face. So underneath the nose, about where the mouth would be, we're gonna start drawing his mustache and it comes out like this. Okay, and then underneath the mustache here is just the little bottom part of the lip. Okay. Still looks a little crazy. If you want, go ahead and erase some of these lines. We do not need all of these guidelines as much anymore. Next, we're gonna work on the ears. So if you put your fingers here on the corners of your own eyes, put your pencil down to be safe, and you trace out, this is where the ear starts. Okay, and then you trace it all around. It is gonna end in between the top of the lip and the bottom of the nose. Okay, so our ears are actually a little bit bigger than a lot of people draw them. Okay, so that's about our ear shape. I'm gonna make this just a teeny bit shorter to match the other side. Okay, perfect. Now, if you feel in front of our, your ears, actually that's where our hair starts. Okay, and it curves around. So. We are gonna um, actually have his hat resting on the ears a little bit. So we're just gonna draw a line that goes all the way across. Sorry, we don't see the top part of his, his hairline. Um, we see the top part of the hat. So go ahead and make kind of a rounded rectangle here. This is the fuzzy cuff top part of the hat. Right now it looks hilarious because it kind of looks like Santa has a sweatband on his head. <laughs> I always think this looks so funny. Little workout Santa working off all those cookies that he's been eating. Okay, so now we have this top part. I might just round this out, make it a little bit smaller. I'm always, I'm constantly erasing and redrawing, and that is totally fine. I'm erasing the top part of his head here because we need to make room for his hat. Okay, so from here, we're gonna draw a little bit of a taller part, rectangle, rounded rectangle, 
that's a little bit tilted here. Okay, and it comes down. And it actually comes to a point. And of course, there is the ball on the end. If you want to make like another few wrinkles, you can here. Okay, so then his hair does start here, his beard. So we don't always see all of his ear necessarily. So the beard just comes down here. And now we're gonna erase the chin. We don't need the chin anymore because we don't see that part. And we can make kind of a little bit of chin here and then maybe some lines. Okay, it looks really young here. Santa has aged, right? So um, we just need to add a few wrinkles. Nothing wrong with that. So we're gonna add some, kind of some laugh lines here. So he is very jolly. He's always laughing. Saying ho, ho, ho. So if we go ahead and add some of those lines. can add the lines here if you want. Okay, so this is about our Santa, the facial proportion. Sometimes I add glasses, you know, he needs reading glasses if he's reading something. So like a rectangle shape. And I just draw straight through his eye because that's about where they hang. Same thing over here. More like a rectangle shape, right? Connect it here, cross the bridge, and then make it go back towards the ear. Okay, so now we have our Santa face.